and Yumbo Visma turn up for duty. The race leader a little further back until a Volta, but it's Herzink now with Roglic and Tratnik on his wheel. That is going to break things up, and we are seeing a move here from UAE Emirates. Roglic is watching, Roglic is following. One of the UAE riders pulled off to the side. That looked like Domen Novak. This is Adam Yates who's on the move here. Big acceleration now. And it's going to leave behind Jay Vine. Vlasov struggling here. Roglic was quick to it. Halsen there as well. Adam Yates is the man to make it. You just see him messing with his gears, didn't you, a moment ago. Getting ready. Shifting into a place he wanted to be. He looks to his right and you see the yellow jersey with that black marking of Primoz Roglic. As Yates goes again, Roglic looks back. Now then, Roglic settles in in his own familiar style and he's not going anywhere. He's checking on the presence of Halsen as Yates just calms it down. But that was a, a clear, clear move there from Adam Yates. And Damien Halsen keeps on fighting, keeps on going. Q36.5 here, and this company having quite the day. Roglic is riding. It's Roglic and Yates at the moment who are riding. We've had that little lip, so it's all downhill for quite a long way now. Basically, the next 18 kilometers or so until we get our next lip of climb. He's going to be moving into the jersey now, unless something quite bizarre happens. But he's a he's a winner. He's going to want to win this. He doesn't give any gifts, does he? He's going to want to win this stage uh, and take um, that, pearl, that rather fetching purple jersey in the process as well. So watch out for Roglic. He's not going to want to lose this one. Thought about getting that position. Bit of a chicane as they now start to see the finish line. It's Roglic who's going to lead it out. Into the final 300 metres now. Adam Yates at the back of the black and white. He's going to be the first to launch the sprint in earnest. It's Adam Yates on the left-hand side as we look at it. Adam Yates at the front who won the intermediate sprint. Roglic coming into the gap now. Can he come around him though? Here comes Primoz Roglic. Primoz Roglic hits the front. And Primoz Roglic makes it 10 victories for the season. And takes the lead after stage three of the Vuelta Burgos. It's Yates. It's Yates who launches in the red jersey. Vlasov will follow. Vine's job is done for the day and for this race. And we're with the podium. Adam Yates, who was on the attack two days ago on Picon Blanco, but could not shake Roglic. Roglic the leader. 33 seconds to the man in the green who is Vlasov. 38 seconds to the man who's on the attack, just looking round now. Yates from Northwest England, racing in that red King of the Mountains jersey. Two and a half kilometers to go. kilometer then and Vine is back sitting on the wheel of Primoz Roglic the leader of the race for the race victory unless there's an absolute disaster and crisis in the final kilometer it's looking good for Roglic now Adam Yates hits the front Primoz Roglic on his wheel, it's Vlasov who's suffering that little bit more today as they come around the corner. 100 metres turn into 80 metres, Yates who won the sprint the other day, but here comes Roglic, here comes Roglic, Roglic at the front and he's going to take it home again. Primoz Roglic once more doing what he does best and in charge. 
It is an amazing 20th stage race win overall in his career. Primoz Roglic does his thing. Lefay's coming around the outside, I think so. It is Victor Lefay. It's on the last little twist and turns. It's still not over, though. Adam Yates very much involved. Roglic also here. And Lefay for coffee. This could be a big one for him. Now then, he's uh, he's had the beating of the likes of uh, uh, Pogaccio and Vingago in the past. But the big names are coming through to challenge him. It's all going to be on the fi very, very final turn. Who's got the drive when it counts? Teo Gegenhardt's in here, but Roglic sails around the outside. Roglic is going to come home for this one. Absolutely. Absolute brilliance at work. What a finale that turned out to be. This is fantastic. They're going to spread a lot across the road. Uh, Vlasov goes through as well. Gagan Hart is in the frame here. Here we are. It's going to be those two. Is it Roglic? Hasn't finished yet. It's going to be a photo. Can you believe this at the very line? This is amazing. Roglic gets there. My life. That was amazing. the stage but look at this Roglic is hitting it once more he's hitting it for one two oh one two three you might add three stages in a row for Primoz Roglic hey to has a look allows Roglic to come through is that a wise thing to do at a moment such as this Trek also uh, very much getting involved and Roglic is he in his pomp he's going to be on the line he's going to be on the throw soon or quick step want to be involved Roglic still there here comes Evan and Paul on the barriers as well Roglic looks easy as you like almost uh, not even mouth breathing at the moment looks like Roglic uh, is he going to be he's going to be the one to oh, only just banging of bars here and Primus Roglic makes the day his own <laughs> Decides to turn the screw here, and he's gone for it. Ciccone goes with, and Roglic stays planted. It's those three. Roglic still staying in the frame. There is uh, Ciccone as well. That looks like the finish order, is it? Oh, Roglic comes off the inside. This is fantastic. We may even have a photo of the line. A big response from over the pole. Ciccone's going to buck the bell. Oh, at the line, Ciccone just takes it. all of a sudden and who's got what it takes to go with him and the answer for the time being is Roglic and here comes Ciccone O'Connor's uh, one here before and I think that's Roman Bardet as well here which is uh, has not had a mention at all here we go about 250 minutes to go and he picks it up and now just a little bit of a plateau takes this hairpin now that it's a little bit wider and Evan Paul looks like he's got this Roglic not minded to chase on now he's going to close the gap Roglic 100 meters to go a little bit of a pickup and then a plateau finish that's precisely what we've got and Evan Paul delivers battle plan number one Also in the frame here, Kokos coming to the front right now. Kokos centre of the road. Anybody else wants to want to play the day? Corbin Strong still got it. Kokos there, getting involved. His cape goes to the line. Oh, I think Rosie got it on the throw. My life, that was close. We get this reveal, and suddenly we've got the big one here. And Evan Evans says, "Thank you very much. I'm off." Away he goes, uh, they're all slotting themselves in, but guess what, Primoz Roglic absolutely on his back wheel. This is where he rocks and rolls at moments such as this, and look at the power, and look at the gap here. Almeida tries to force himself back into it, and Roglic it is that picks it up. He goes into that little pocket, of uh, that little aero pocket that's being offered up here. It's Mano a Mano yet again, as we suspected it may well be. 150 minutes to go, 100 to go right now, still has not unwound entirely, and Roglic goes to the inside, he wants the barriers, Evan Apol responds as well, what a fabulous battle between the pair of them, drifting over the inside of the road, Roglic, oh, he's got oh and Evan Apol sits down, he can't do it, he can't follow, and Roglic said, this mountain is mine, this jersey is mine, catch me if you can, and today, you cannot.
want to come and play the game. They go to the centre of the road. Ida Schelling is trying to boss that. Here comes Mylan Menton. He's coming around the outside of the Hornings. Out of sight for the time being. It's a drag race for those out front. Kane Rose is out of the front. And here comes Kokar as well. On the throw. Oh, I think he made it. Came all the way back on somebody else's bike. see a lot of each other and here it is line beckons Evanapol comes up onto the shoulders of Rob Richard does not respond Evanapol it is that takes the final stage but Primoz Roglic is our champion